Oh, decided to come back. I have been praying so often. My priest said I should relax. I'm... Ah, look who has returned. Bayak of Siwa. Perfect that you have met us in Heraklion. A city of wine, women, whatever a magi like you desire. And deserves. Ah, to the queen. Bayek, you arrive at an opportune time. Cleopatra, I'm still looking for the men who killed my son. The order is neutralized. Was my hunt for me or for you? I have two more names. The order can't be... And how many more names after that? As many as it takes. I wish to bring my son to the afterlife where he belongs, not... Ah, I like you, Cleopatra. But the royal matters that seduced my wife do not sway me so. What does the badge mean to you? Have you forgotten? This badge means more to you than it does to me. This is not one man we are fighting. Nothing ends simply. Aya has understood that you have a new reality. I am your pharaoh. You are magi to all of Egypt. Follow me. We have a gift. Mm. Speaking of magi, any news of Aya? Aya is still defending the seas. We are expecting Pompey and his fleet any day now. To unite against the Order and change the land. I did see a lot on my hands that sickened me. Our land is being oppressed greatly. 
I realize we cannot let the order rise again. Yes, Bayek. The two new names, the Jekyll and the Scorpion, are within my brother's inner circle. We believe they are the ones behind the attempt on my life. An attempt on your life? By your brother's Philakis? Hard to tell. A Gabignani, one of Septimius' warriors. They form a militia 2,000 strong. I had hoped to ally with them. With Septimius? The Roman lug. He leads them. Yes, the dreamer who posits himself as truly Egyptian, and yet sends a man to murder me. Not very Egyptian, if you ask me. Aya feels he is working for the Order, and has a proxy here named Venator. Perhaps he is the masked one that forced my son's death upon me. Here is your gift. He is in the order of ancients like Septimius. We found him snooping around the villa. We think he knows who killed your son. My brother Septimius killed your son, and I don't give a shit! Shit giving is my job. Enough for you. I will press him for more information. I suggest uh, you visit the brothel in town. Yes. Go dig through this Dionysian town and unearth the plot against us. Septimius is in town. He's meant to lucky. Ah, a true warrior. I have a discount for... Wait. You're not with the Gabinianis, are you? No, I am not. I am a Magi. Whoa. Magis used to come here all the time, but not recently. Who do you work for, then? Cleopatra. I heard she was in town. Well, a Magi working for his pharaoh. You must have gold to burn. I would like to speak with your legendary twins. Speaking is what you call it. I suppose we all have our thing. The twins are going to cost you if you want to speak or anything else with them, Magi. Make yourself comfortable upstairs. The twins will come for you. They had a rough night yesterday, so don't speak too hard with them, hmm? You wanted to speak to us? I'm looking for a Gabignani named Venator. Shh! Do not say that name! She is a naked Iadet. I won't hold my tongue for that monster. Everyone is scared of him, but you should kill him. He's staying at the top of the square. He won't be staying anywhere ever again. place has been busy. Venato does not walk alone. This place smells like a swamp. Broken dishes. It reeks of foul play. 
blood on the walls. This Venator is sick. What have you and your men been up to? Cleopatra. Venator is training his Gabinianis for an assassination. Wine casks. This doesn't smell like wine, though. Oil in wine casks. Enough oil to burn down the whole city. Lutes, lipstick, and scented oils. Were women of the street here? And Roman regalia. Odd. Seems Venator wants his men to mix well. My gods. A crafty plan. One of the men is posing as a woman. Must be to infiltrate the palace. Posing as wine merchants. They will dock and set a fire to cause a panic. With an archer ready to pick off the queen in the confusion. Somewhere high. Venator. More than just one of Septimius' dogs. You have your own puppets within the Order. I have to find them before they strike. My love. I have been praying so often. My priest. Bayek! Ah, you smell of the sea. The high seas have taken me for some time, but now I'm yours. Oh, my God. 
Septimius. Hey, old man. Oh, are you injured? Just a flesh wound. <laughs> Aye. I am fine. Nothing hurts anymore. My mind is a riot. All I have is that I am pushed further. One more attempt to snuff me out. My queen, rest and remember. I do that... not need rest. This civil war is no closer to ending. I need a fucking throne. My throne rots in the hands of my brother. Instruct Foxidus to prepare ship. We head to meet Pompey. My last resort. You two go ahead and tell him we're coming. Yes, my queen. Bayek, if we don't get to Pompey first, Septimius might. Those Gabignanis left us a feluca. Kind of them. Septimius is the shit eater. He is the man we must escort to the devourer. And of Potinus? He will be more fodder for the Devourer. And then we return home. We will only return home with Cleopatra in our company, to show the Sea Ones what has changed, what we have changed. How are things on your trireme? Great. Foxidas has entrusted me with... Why don't we take each other here? In this reed boat. Take advantage of these rare moments between us, before your new job steals you away as savior of all Egypt. You make jokes, but it is not funny. It is greatness I am after. This country is at civil war, one simply cannot deny it. Everywhere is misery. I love you, Aya. And we are Medjai. We do serve and protect, but we work alone. I share your hatred for God. I love you, Aya. And we are Medjai. We do serve and protect, but we work alone. I share your hatred for Ptolemy. But re... We must serve greatness. What greatness do we serve now? We are parents. We were parents. I love you, Bayek of Siwa. But what are you of now? Gods. The Nile will run red for many moons. Uh, Osiris will be... <sighs> ah. Septimius has beat us. Funny how all great men are reduced to food for maggots. This is a cemetery for our ambitions. No, 
No, it can't be. Where is Caesar? He has arrived in Alexandria. He is heavily guarded, so there's... Bring me to him. I will get to Caesar if I have to drag myself through the sewers of the palace. Forewarning, Bayek. Once we board this ship, there is no turning back. And we finish with the Queen on her throne, or each of our heads on a pike. I understand. It is rare that our cargo is a goddess. I apologize. We have no kings or queens on our ship. Only gods and goddesses. So you should fit right in. All strange and terrible things are welcome. <laughs> I am worried that my quarters are not as comfortable as your palace. Comforts? We despise them. My loyal shield boy! Are you fit? I am in awe of this goddess. We must do her well. I can't believe she's on our ship. Hey, don't be fooled by appearances. She needs us more than we need her. <laughs> Raya. She is the real goddess. There, in the distance. Aya, already showing Bayek the best places to make love, huh? Enough, Fox. It is time to make war. Brothers at sea, today we carry a precious cargo. Queen Cleopatra, great lady in perfection. She of the Sage and Bee. With so many other cocksure titles, my breath falters just to think of them. Now, if you'll direct your attention to the fort, you'll notice we have some friends bearing down upon us. Emissaries of our little pharaoh. How kind of them to come forth! Let us welcome them, shall we? Warmly! With a ball of flaming refuse! Alalalala! This reminds me of a day 20 years back. I sailed with a group of pirates. The Sicilians, was it? Ah, heard the stories. That's right. I was a hired hall. They were planning an inland raid on Antioch and needed a few extra sails. It was my first and only deep into the life of a scout. I prefer having a charade of pieces. Well done, then. The craft comes naturally to you. Easier to sail about when the sea is empty of ships trying to sink you. Water dozen missing triremes, not a lot the main fleet. It will take some time for them to find the wreckage. Onwards! Captain, my sheep smells like charcoal. There! More Ptolemy ships! They want to box us in and drive us against the shore. I see that look in your eyes. Why should we fight them? We can just barge on through and head straight for Alexandria. I need to be sure the way is safe for Cleopatra. We have to do this. Those naked that will feel Ra's arrows. Nice to hear Egyptian vulgarity on a Greek ship. Variety is what makes life interesting. And bloodshed. Ah, la, 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 la! 
If please no way to command I uh, our catapults will fire upon your order. The fleet is at your disposal. But not the Vorsmen. Something else. Hold, Foxidas. Look there, and the water. Two ships down? Damn Ptolemy! Did make a fine name. I'm no fucking general with bottomless Roman coffers! Those were my men! Easy, Foxidas. We're not done yet. Our catapults will do their work. We'll make them pay. And dearly, by the balls of Zeus! I want the ocean turned dark with their blood! Damn this! Make the call! Increase the river! Yes, my captain! Allah! They sent an octary! A floating ship! Blast! Do the gods wish my fleet destroyed? Think of Poseidon! These old fish will stick in your prison throat! They're up on them. Let's not offend the gods without souls. I'll take angry gods over docile ones right now! Open up the skies and rain some kind of shit down on us! We have one last beast to hunt. to be in your furious company. Should I apologize for putting you back to work? Not at all! Not at all! My blood runs quick now, with the roar of battle! By Zeus, I have not seen this much action since the earliest days of Cleopatra's father! Let's not celebrate too roundly, old man. We're afloat in the sea with a cargo with a thousand ships. I wonder if Cleopatra survived unmarked. Those clothes looked expensive. All are safe, we are done. <laughs> Attacking starboard! Oh, we are not done! Ptolemy's <laughs> Malachi are not dead yet! Get out of the ring boats, use the fog to hide your escape. I will take care of this. Destiny is a fucker sometimes, Aya. Enjoy the calm water. I will stay in the storm. Ah! 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 Flee, you fool! Don't mind the flaming arrows, huh? <laughs> For battle, we will honor our goddies!
We cannot afford to spill any Roman blood. We cannot traipse into the palace armed to the teeth. So we disarm them. Armed or not, they will recognize her. For once, perhaps a queen's entrance is unnecessary. Act natural. We are meant to preside these grounds. Remember that. Is our queen all right? I'm who are we? Let me do the talking. None pass here without escort or a royal seal. I am the nomarch of Heliopolis. These are my phylachitae. We bring gifts from our local merchants. Let them pass with an escort. Follow me. This way. Our Imperator appreciates the hospitality. Have you received the warm welcome our pharaohs always provide? We will not celebrate until an alliance is sealed. Your vizier and your king have given us fine accommodations here in the palace. However, I cannot guarantee my Imperator will hold court with you. We understand. You are a good legionary. We will be patient. Guest legionary, at ease. We are with the great Pharaoh Ptolemy the Thirteenth, his envoys from the east, with gifts for your Imperator. Carry on then. An offering? Would you like me to help you carry your carpet? No, sorry, it is very sacred. Must be handled by the Philakitae. They understand the merchandise. Step aside, legionnaires. Official business for the Pharaoh. Who are you? You look like a hippodrome racer. Huh. I am. You should see me race. The C1 warrior. Continue this way. Guest legionary, at ease. Stay in the palace until all politics are concluded. Dominic. Well, eh? The palace is at your disposition, Caius. Pompey was bound. Pompey was your enemy, Caesar. He was my friend first. But you are right, Ptolemy. Now let us discuss our alliance. <laughs> What is this? Forgive, Lord Caesar. We bring a gift from our pharaoh, Cleopatra. Pharaoh? This is no gift. These are my sister's friends. It is a trap. In place of an envoy, Cleopatra sends a rug? I wonder how you all entered my palace. God! Kill these traitors! <laughs> My wretched brother. He's let the wine go to vinegar and my kingdom to pieces. Great lady, your audacity is equaled only by your beauty. Flavius, please. I can offer you what my brother failed at with me marriage. A true marriage, that is. If you ally with my sister, I will kill every last Roman in Alexandria. Enough of the big words, little brother. Out, all. You will each be sent for when our Congress is concluded. 
I wish to hear both Ptolemy's side of the story. Portinus and Septimius gone. We missed them. You will have your vengeance soon. This is Cleopatra's time to officially become queen. If she is crowned queen, we will be able to act from within. Crush the network. Tomorrow, our queen will have turned flattery into progress. We'll reconvene tomorrow at the gardens. You prove your worth tenfold today. You truly are great magis. Aya, dear one, thank you for coming. All is well with great Caesar. Good, my queen. Soon you will be on your throne. Yes, yes. I must ask you a favor, though. The tomb. I fear Lord Caesar should have the honor to bear witness to the author of our kingdom, Alexander the Great. You want to impress your new lover, I see. The tomb is sealed, no? <laughs> It is, but by an act of Gaia, not a royal decree. An earthquake in the early days of my father's reign has blocked the door. Do you know our metropolis well enough to suggest an alternate means of entry? The underground. You would enter from below? Well, I would find a way into the cisterns and canals below, work backwards and find a way to clear a passage into the tomb. That would solve our problem, but it seems idealistic. Fortune favors those who ignore her. I'll examine the area around the tomb and figure this out. Excellent. Rejoice. <laughs> 